Institute is training the next chefs who will be running some of our best restaurants in just a few years. The instructors at Savannah <laughs> Tech's program are giving you the chance to get a tasty education, too. The school has a, an inter interactive cooking event coming up with hands-on demonstrations. And I have to say, Kyle said the name perfectly in the first block. Yeah, well, that's uh, who we're tossing it to right now today. Kyle is getting his own personal chef training to get an idea of what you can expect. Kyle, are you cooking anything spicy this morning? You know, I, I'm going to leave that up to the chef to answer that, but I and I'll ask her our question of the day um, on how I uh, enjoy spicy food. I, I put myself at about an eight because I think there's about 20% of spicy things that are way too spicy for me that I wouldn't eat. But yeah, on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably about an eight on spicy food. We're talking about uh, the Bistro Savoy Interactive coming up in November, but I want to show you, we got the oven back here and we've got a pot special. We're not going to uncover it yet. We'll show you in just a minute, but it's cooking. But the pot that you see there is specific to the dish that we are doing, and I'm joined by Chef Alex Lewis, who is here, one of our instructors at the Savannah Culinary Institute, and you are making the dish that's behind us, but kind of give us an idea of part of your dish that we're cooking up right now. So I'm making a jewel couscous that goes with the lamb tangine, and this is one of the items that they'll have at Bistro Savoir Interactive. And it's just a really nice dish with the braised lamb and they're gonna learn how to do preserved lemons. So a little lacto fermentation at the station. And it will be just perfect for the season. We have cooler weather now, so yeah. braised meat. I mean, warm spices, it doesn't get any better. And speaking of spices, where do you rank on the uh, on the question of the I'm day? I'm an eight. Okay. I'm an eight. So we're right I'm there. We're, so I'm gonna enjoy what you're making for sure. Uh, this is a, a, a hands-on, um, event. You've got three different stations that offer hands-on uh, demonstrations with chefs like yourself. Yes. Uh, this is this will be one of them that people get to learn about. Uh, also in this room, uh, we're going to do, we've got a, a wine station. Is that right? Yes. We have Dana Lee, who's a wine educator. She's going to come and do wine pairings from Spain okay. for all of the participants. So it'll be a fun night. Yeah. And it, all international dishes. So we've got uh, Romanian food, Greek food, and you are making a Moroccan dish. I am. I'm looking into North Africa, and we're going to make a nice, warm spice with a lot of cumin and cinnamon and all of those spices that you think of during fall that give you that warm feeling with a little bit of saffron, so it makes it a little exotic. And we have right now some dried fruits that we've macerated with some orange juice, and this is like perfect for it. So if you're not into the spice like you and I are, mm -hmm. then you can still enjoy it because of the jamminess from those fruits. You gotta like that. So what was the, for, for, to start with, you added, what is that? I had Sliced butter on? and I had my um, spice blend for the lamb. And it's also for the couscous with, okay. um, it has turmeric, it has saffron, it has um, cinnamon and a little bit of allspice. And here, small. Okay. It's absolutely delightful. Oh yeah. And that's, yeah, right? Yeah, and that's not too, not, I would say too bad. That's not too good. It's not too <laughs> spicy. You can, you can enjoy that. Uh, what are we adding in now? This is the preserved lemon. Okay. And once you preserve them, we're going to cut them and put, pack them in a jar with salt. And you just have to shake them up every, you know, couple of days. It lasts up to three weeks, and then you actually are able to use them. But it kind of mellows out that in your face citrusy flavor mm -hmm. and just gives you that mellow, beautiful, bright lemon that's still fresh. So your hands-on part of this is something that will be delayed gratification, if you will. It's something it will. that they will be able to enjoy with their meal <laughs> down the road. Yes, and they'll remember the evening that they had at the school and they'll be just, you know, thrilled that they still have this little memento. Yeah. So this is something that's been going on for quite a while. I know it's popular. Um, tickets, as I understand, by the way, guys, about 70% sold out. Um, but this benefits scholarships uh, for students here. This really is so important to what you guys are doing at the Culinary Institute. Exactly. There's so many students here who are coming from all different, you know, socioeconomic backgrounds. And so when you come to school, you may not be able to afford all of your supplies and your books and you know, uh, tuition for classes. And so this is another way for students to still be able to pursue their studies and not have to worry about the expense to the full extent. So take me through the evening when, uh, when folks are coming in, do they go by groups into different stations? Do you, how many times do you do this during the evening? So let me tell you, it's so much fun. If I was not working it, I would definitely buy a ticket because they come in, they get a passport, and they uh, have 
a stamp for each station. So they go to each station, we teach them how to make an item for that evening. They get to take an item home and then they get a stamp on their passport and they also have a recipe card. So everywhere you go, you'll hear the little train whistle <laughs> and they go to the next station. So when that train is leaving, it's definitely out of that station. You're on to another place to, uh, without to having to pack. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't even have to leave your home. You no. don't really have to leave Savannah. You just come down right. here to the Savannah Culinary Institute. Again, we're on the White Bluff campus of Savannah Tech. All right. So we're adding the last little bits to yep. this. Uh, and let's are, show you what it looks like. So okay. we have almonds in here. We have some um, orange zest and lemon zest, mint, parsley. We have dates, apricots, and some orange. And that is the dish for um, what we're, we're going to show you in the tangine. So I'll pull the okay. tangine out for you. Okay. So there's your couscous. As she's plating this, I will let you know. The event is November 2nd. It starts at 545. Uh, tickets are $125, which might uh, seem a little high, but think about all that you're getting, not just the food, but the hands-on experience and being able to participate and you're benefiting future culinary and hospitality students here uh, from the scholarships. And she's going to step in here, bring it in. And again, this is the tangine pot that the, that the lamb shank is, is cooked in. That's why it's called that, correct? Yes, this is the, the pot. It's made out of clay. And that is the lamb. Ooh. And we have some beautiful root vegetables that are perfect for this season. We have some olives and we have the couscous underneath as a, a nice little bed. There you go. All right, guys, I know you're hungry back there in the studio. <laughs> and unfortunately, it is here, <laughs> not back there. <laughs> Chef Alex, thank you so much. You're welcome. When we come back later on this morning, we're going to move over here and I'll actually will be getting my hands on. Uh, this was a little bit too much for me, but we'll see if I mess <laughs> up the next one. I don't know. Who knows? Back to you guys.